got super long I kind of just gave up on brushing it I just kind of like I brush it but it's so long that it's hard to manage and I just kind of give up halfway but anyways I thought I would do a quick Sephora haul because I just recently purchased some stuff from Sephora just kind of rare I don't I don't normally shop here here is the stuff not really because that's wrapping paper um okay so here's all this all this stuff that I got and I will start with Okay, so I got the Enki list the caffeine eye cream This is supposed to help puffiness and dark circles. I actually bought my mom like a set of Products from this brand for Christmas. She really liked this one and I've seen good reviews about it So I'm gonna try it and then I got two of these Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balms. I've always had my eyes on this since I saw it probably on TikTok. I feel like everything lately is very influenced by TikTok, at least for me. So I got two of them, one for myself and one for my mom. Um, and then Justin's mom also uses this and liked it. So I was like, you know what? It should be fine. Comes with a little, comes with a little spatula. So there's that normally i only wear like eye makeup i don't really do anything to my face so i just use micellar water and that's usually perfectly fine but the days that i do wear foundation like today it would be nice to have like a makeup remover that's not like micellar water on a tiny little cotton pad so we're gonna try this um and yeah and then oh my god these are tiny so i i've been looking for like a mask not like a sheet mask but an actual mask so I saw this one. It's Youth to the People. Um, this is their Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This is the 0.5 fluid ounce version. I got this because some of the reviews said that they that like the scent was kind of a lot for them or the fragrance. So I wanted to just get the small one and see how I felt about it before I committed to a big one. Well, it's fine to me, but we'll see how it is when it's on my face. And this is an overnight mask that's supposed to hydrate, plump, brightens your face while you sleep, antioxidant rich superberries, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, something, 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 glowing skin by the morning. That's what it's supposed to do. So, I also got one for my mom, and we'll see if she likes it too. I got these Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. So, right now, I use the Purito Centella one that. A lot of people will talk about but um i have been seeing a lot of good things about this super goop sunscreens and there's like different kinds right but i just got the unseen one since this is like supposed to be super unseen this is a chemical sunscreen for all skin types natural finish and this is spf 40. this is very exciting i've <laughs> so this is a dior addict lip maximizer this is supposed to be a Hyaluronic lip plumper. So as you can see my lip my top lip especially super small I've been wanting lip fillers for like the longest time ever this is in Number 12 I don't know what color that is. Oh, it's number 12 rosewood. So this is what the color looks like And we're going to try it now Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on there. I have no idea if I put on the right amount. We just put some on and now I'm just gonna wait for it to do its thing while I continue with my video. And then the last thing that I got was this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. Um, I used to use toners very frequently, like back in high school and early college. At one point I just kind of stopped and I think I would like to get back into it. So I heard really good reviews about this one. This was kind of pricey. It was like 30 bucks for this. The main features is a white leaf tea and water. White leaf tea water. White leaf tea water, not white leaf tea. Okay. Anyways, this was 30 bucks for five fluid ounces and it looks like that. 
So I'm going to give this a go and see how it is. Maybe I'll update you guys if anyone is interested. So yeah, that's everything I got. As of now, this lip thing is starting to make my lips tingle a bit in like a good way. It doesn't feel bad or anything, but it doesn't look any bigger. Maybe I'm being too impatient. So I'll sit here for a while and we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that is it for now. Um, I'll show you my outfit because I never do OOTDs. I used to back when I made videos like years ago. Anyways, so let me get up. Okay, I'm wearing this like pink crop top cami type of thing. This is from Shein. I got it like months and months ago. I just tossed this gray hoodie, nope, zip up from Warden's on top. And then my pants are like these super baggy and ripped like denim jeans. Um, the only issue with these pants is it always makes me look like my zipper is undone when it is because it's just like open like this instead of being like that. But anyways, nobody needs to know about my denim issues. So yeah, that was it for today or for now, I guess. And I will see you guys later. It's been a couple hours and now I'm going to make some tteokbokki. This is the Igane tteokbokki. Um, never had this before. I literally just pick up a different one at the market every time because I'm still trying to find the one that I like. I don't know why, but I can never make it taste like how my parents make it. So, comes in a tray. Has literally just this. The last one I got had like... Um, like some odeng fish cake and some kimari which is like that like seaweed like wrap roll thing but this one literally just has these two so we're working with that real quick i'm going to add in these indomie noodles because i like my tteokbokki with noodles in it so basically nabuki here it is in all its glory. Uh, I forgot to mix the noodles with the tteokbokki. Like I already plated the tteokbokki before I boiled the noodles. So they're not mixed, but once they, once we actually get to eating it, they will mix. So it'll be fine. But here it is. I really don't know how to cook, so please don't come for me. Why can't I spin? Nice. The one stitch is queuing up there. Good morning. So, oh, a car pulled up next to me. That's awkward. Today is my first day of work and it is going. I'm very confused right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I was supposed to have an appointment at 11 a.m. and the person that I was supposed to meet didn't show up. So, I just kind of did my own thing and I don't know what I'm doing. So, now I'm waiting for her because she thought our appointment was later, but it was actually at 11, not 1. So, yeah. That's fun. My lip tint fell off. That is not a cute look, but back in the car heading out. It's like 4 30 right now. For the past like three hours, I just did a lot of paperwork and a lot of training. And what I initially went out for early. Is that a fluff? Initially, like early in the morning, I went out but came back because I didn't have access to something. Now they're saying I do. So I'm going to meet the girl at a Starbucks near my house. I really need to get going, so that's what we're gonna do. I need to be there by 4.30.
And I work with a guy who runs West Coast Koji, so we're all about fermentation and stuff. So. <laughs> just came out with two drinks when I ordered one um it's been like a couple days and I went to order my usual boba drink and then the guy there the last time I went I asked him like oh like what's your favorite drink because I only get this one drink and so he like recommended this other drink that I should try so I got it the next time but that guy wasn't there and so then today I'm out of breath today he was there so I ordered my usual drink the oreo brulee and then I told him like oh I like actually tried the white peach last time but I think he couldn't hear me like there was music and stuff so you know but I guess he thought that I wanted to add it to my order and he confirmed with me but I couldn't it wasn't I literally couldn't say like no that's wrong like can I just get the one drink so I walked out with both drinks when I am only one human and as much as I love these drinks I am incapable of drinking two of them so I'm gonna make Justin drink the other one <laughs> because I didn't know what to do I couldn't say no so that's my life right now my first week of work went really oddly because I didn't have like my laptop or anything I couldn't really do anything and it's not my fault or the company's fault so yeah I'm still waiting on my laptop um so i feel like i'm not gonna do another work week work day until i'm actually like settled and actually do things because all i did this past week was like go to cafes to like meet people and like sign like forms and like do trainings and stuff so yeah anyways that's it for this vlog bye see you next time